and we are going to, we have some uh, big action in natural gas, uh, but we may even get uh, bigger action. Uh, we sure do. So let's start off with the yeah. story we were just reading. That way we got, we got 12 minutes, right, until yeah. we get the EIA numbers. I was saying there should be an interesting report. Um, and uh, why not? Let's, let's show the action first this morning, right? Because, so we got quite a little drop even um, from the overnight at about 2 in the morning Eastern time. We dropped from about 268 down all the way to 260. It's been quite a decline overall, nonetheless. Right. And, uh, and the news story is just talking about how the future is sinking to the lowest level in 10 months as the forecast showed demand for the heating fuel evaporating in the country's eastern third, like we we're just talking about, right? You're saying 75 here compared to that. But this is the inventory report after that polar vortex. So the government report, the EIA, we're, go we're about to get in about 10 minutes, is expected to show the winter's biggest stockpile decline after all those cold temperatures. But warmer temps are allaying concern that there won't be enough of a heating fuel stored in aquifer aquifers and salt caverns to meet winter demand. Interesting stuff. So with that in mind, I'm going to pull it back over here. So we're looking at the March contract. Let's start it off and see where we are. I'm not sure if these are going to line up. Oh, look, it's perfect. We're at 261.7. Not exactly perfect, but we have options at 260, a penny and a half. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah, a penny and a half in the natural gas market doesn't seem like a lot on either side, especially if you happen to be maybe bullish, where you're starting with that bullish advantage. So $23 on the bullish side, 16 of that being essentially intrinsic value that you're paying for. And then on the bearish side, Seven, just representing the seven ticks you're paying under 260, yep. but you're out of the money by about 16, right? So three pennies. Yeah, about three, yep. exactly. Three right. pennies that you need away from 260 where you start to break even. That's your 11s. Let's jump around to the noons, which we like sometime. And what's nice, same exact price spreads. Okay. 260 on the bullish side. Excuse me, this is what I actually really... So this is your 11 a.m. You're paying 2.3 pennies or yeah. $23. And look at how this goes sometimes. What just happened here? We're, we're one penny away. Uh, yeah, excuse me, one dollar away, one-tenth of a penny away in the contract for that whole extra hour of exposure on the bullish side. It's taken between one and two, but you can really get a feel for it. And that's what's nice is you just get to say, do I want to pay for that extra hour? Right. Do I want to? Um, so the bullish side going to cost you about 25. And then the bearish side, go back into the noons, 260 down to 240. And again, here's your 11 a.m., Here's your noon, cost you about an extra penny. So you're looking at 3.3 pennies. Pretty cool, right? It is cool. Yeah. Now let's see where we line up if the dailies. Okay, so here's, now these go 40 cents instead of 20 cents. Uh, really the bigger factor is that they go till 2.30. And let's see what these are. So we were paying, this is going to be your bearish spread. This is going to be your bullish. So instead of paying 25 about, we were playing for the noon, you're paying 29. 29 yeah. Now again, you get two and a half extra hours, and, right. and you do have the price, 20 cents is a lot, but you two and a half extra hours, that's a real oh, deal. Yeah. And then on the bearish side, instead of paying like seven or eight, you're paying about 12 out of the money. Um, so for that's not bad, two, man. Till 2:30. That's, that's serious. Yeah. So you need, you know, your pivot points 260 on all of these, and you need whether it's we went pretty much almost like two two and a half pennies for the 11, right. three pennies for the noon, and about four to four and a half pennies for the 2:30. So let's we bring up the Bloomberg. Let me see this intraday out here. So intraday, this is going to get interesting because we know that it's moved more than that. Look yes. at this. It's moved 10 cents. Yeah, it, it just made it all the way up there, right? Yeah. And then probably sold off. Look at this move. Okay. Kaboom. So, uh, oh, I see. I'm going to go like this. Oh, like Look at that. that. Yeah, totally. I just learned that. <laughs> <laughs> you just taught me that. That's perfect. Okay, so let's see. So you get a little blurp up there. So it blurps up to 263. It came down. You really tested that low. Yeah. Well, that's going to be interesting because 261, yeah. It's remarkable we haven't been down at this level. Now, you could always just take the bullish side. You know, maybe you say, man, no, we're so low it, for so it, long. To me, I'm it just pointing like it out, you know. It, it, it actually... Or you could take the bearish. The, it's way, like the way that it's looking is that I don't think it's going to get much movement. I think it's going to get movement to 263 because it looks like intraday we already tested like that low. We yes. just had it with light, light of oil. Sure. And then see that one buy just to your right a little. That's that's a little buy there. Sure. So it's like, okay. Sure. You know, and then you can make the case that, okay, they're tested, but that looks to me like 263 is probably game. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting, man. I mean, um, okay, we'll get. Yeah, I just want to back this up a bit to, to put the quick trend, and we will. We'll get yeah. it up there for them. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah. We're going to open it. Yep. Up, yeah. Let me find the right 
Bloomberg now. So this is the trend. I mean, this is just going back 30 days. Um, but man, we haven't been down here in a while. Really, close. Yeah, right. I mean, that's right. that's quite quite a drop. And just zooming it in, I mean, there's your acceleration below those lows, and quite. A, I, don't, I don't even need to draw the line, right? There's your trend. Boom. Right. Um, well, you know, I I heard that the the fundamental numbers in West Texas. Uh, they had an analyst on yesterday. So picture this, folks. So so West Texas. You know, if you go back to the Rockefellers and everything, that was, and Getty, that was the beginning of the oil boom in the United States in a huge way. Then it went from there in Pennsylvania, the beginning. Okay. So West Texas, though, folks, folks, you know, 30 years ago, bottom, 20 years ago, you know, they thought it was done. Okay. Right? Then shale comes in, right? Sure. And so what has happened now is that we do, we do 11 million barrels a day, right? Produce 11 million barrels a day in the United States. Well, 5 million of those are in West Texas, what wow. they thought was done. And on top of that, though, that all they, they, every time they shale, that's all gas that they got to get out of there. Okay. Because the gas is coming up with it. Okay. So it's like, okay, if the acceleration went up that much in oil, that means there's more gas. Now, okay. The, the problem with gas is that you got to capture it, then you got to bring it somewhere, right? But evidently, someone's capturing it. There's a lot of it because Exxon is going to turn around and put like tw they're going to put 20 billion in a new just gas plant. Down. Okay, you know? maybe that's why we're at the lowest price level we've seen in 10 months, right? Right. right. Sure. You know, because the bottom line is that the more oil that we have, the more gas that's going to have that's going to generate it. And the key is is that how do you get the gas to a market to sell? Sure. Instead of just letting it go up in the air. Oh, yeah, because you know. we've seen sometimes where certain parts of the country <coughs> drastically different prices oh, totally. because natural gas is not quite like oil where it right. can't have that much of a discrepancy. <laughs> and you see it sometimes with oil, um, but natural gas in particular, no, huge time. price spikes when those demand and yep. they can't just transfer it across the country. Well, we can figure that out first to be in good shape. Yeah. Oh, and I imagine there's yeah. a lot of big money trying to figure oh, it out. Exactly. Uh, so the number we're looking for, we're going to it's uh, we break in about a minute and a half. It'll be perfect. We'll come right back. And we got they're looking for a decline of about when their median analyst estimate, 247 decline. They do a Bloomberg survey, 245. Prior week, we had a decline of 173. Um, there better be a decline. Yeah, Because exactly. for all of those temperatures, oh my God. if there wasn't a decline then, we're coming back to really warm temperatures, oh. and that means there's going to be no decline whatsoever. The, and the, you could see the price even plummet from if there. You, right? If you watch the, the weather, folks, I was watching it last night, and what they're talking about is that the, there's a... There's a warm spell. Well, there's a, there's a cold spell, you know, further up north. And normally what happens is that that comes down south. Okay. Well, there's some kind of a system that is above Georgia that is stopping it all. Okay. And they expect that it's going to stop it all for a week. So okay. there's a full week that, you know, in Georgia, northern Florida, that, you know, no, Georgia and northern Florida, like right now, can, you know, be 30, 35 sure. degrees. I mean, it's February 6th. I think I'm going to say we're going lower, and I'm going to say, uh, so I'd take this out of the money, bearish till noon. It's a beautiful for, for thing. eight bucks. Eight tenths of a penny under 260, and I, uh, I start making some money. It's a beautiful thing. There we go. We'll Stay see right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Tell me I'll be right back, folks. Welcome back, folks. Okay, so we get natural gas stockpiles fell uh, 237 billion uh, BCF. Billion cubic feet. You got yeah. it. So the expectation had been about 245 to 247. So okay. not even quite the decline they were looking for. A little bit of a miss, and we got a little bit of a drop. This as you would goes. expect, there's more natural gas. You know, the decline wasn't as big as they thought. You yeah. got more natural gas. It's going to be a cheaper price if you have more supply in the market. And we got natural gas dropping, so we're at about 260. If we had played with that uh, bearish one that yeah, I was you, looking you at, straight, where yeah. I'd be at like break even right now, only because okay. the bid offer spread. Excuse me, right? Getting in five, 259.2. And as this continues really, to though. go, oh, yeah. really. and then what's nice is this was the noon trade, keeping in mind. Whoa. So, so yeah. you'd have uh, a good 90 minutes as you'd wait for that number. But nonetheless, I said to you the break, right? I said there's almost no good number that could come in because let's say it even dropped now there obviously is if there was a decline of like 400 billion cubic feet right. something like that but if there was more everyone would say well geez you better the country was just in the coldest it's almost ever been right but what are you going to do next week yeah exactly. when it's you know right. and i know we're talking about the den i even saw somebody on facebook zero degrees fahrenheit right now in denver i saw somebody post in around that denver area minus 11 fahrenheit so they're still dealing with some cold temps but a uh, little bit of a miss on what was imagined to be one of the coldest weeks we've had in a while will have in a while and you got natural gas now under 260 259 we'll check back wow in. yeah 
Welcome back, folks. Dow's down 216, Nasdaq's off 82, S&P's down 26, and your natural gas, man, it's a good trade. Yeah, that, that it's baby's getting a little getting acceleration. Smoked. We're now at 258.5. Uh, these were the contracts that I was looking at for that bearish one. Right now, you'd be able to get back about 17. You were putting up eight. Even with the dollar commission on each side, you're investing 10. You're getting 17 back. But uh, I think I might let that one run a little bit, considering yeah. that your risk is still capped there at oh, a pretty the, the, affordable 17. And I'd be looking for quite an expansion. You, you got the noon one, too, right? Yeah, that's this is good. the noon. Yep, right. noon. Uh, that's why yep. I keep on pulling each one. So you got an extra hour. And uh, yeah, I mean, that contract, just putting it real quick, even on an hourly, man. I mean, you're talking about big moves. In a, we were just at 290. Uh, what is that? January 31st. And we're yeah. now sitting at 258.